guys welcome back to my channel it is your girl simply tanika dion and i am back with another video um today i'm going to be doing a unboxing slash tutorial not really an unboxing but um i did a little bit of shopping from a black owned brand that i've never bought anything from before and as you can tell it is the crayon case um you know that brand has been out for a few years now and i've you know i, I never bought anything from her could have but just i don't know i don't know why i didn't um but now i did because she recently um uh, showed that she had a blush binder that as soon as I saw that I wanted it I don't know what it was about it but I just saw three pages of blushes and you guys know I am a blush fiend so I had to have it and so I got it I stayed up late to get it because I'm glad I did because um, it was sold out in a matter of minutes like I hear a lot of her stuff is so um, yeah so I uh, got this blush binder and I will begin to that in a minute um, right now I have nothing on my face at all. I didn't do my eyebrows, didn't do anything. So, um, bear with my face guys. I just wanted to go ahead and show you what I got. And then after that, I'll go ahead and do a tutorial for you guys on, um, the blush palette. Okay. Anyway, so the blush palette looks like this. <laughs> so exciting. So freaking exciting. Packaging is cute as usual. And here it is. First is three pages and it looks like a binder because as we know her products are, you know, basically school theme type uh, products. So this is the first page. Look at this. Sorry. The things are falling out. This is the second page. And then the... Oh, sorry about that guy. And then the third page. All such beautiful, beautiful colors. Um, and with this palette, you can use it as blush, eyeshadow, part of lipstick, just whole face with, you know, except for foundation or whatever. Um, you can set your face with it, set your under eyes. Um, well, I don't know about that, but you can do a lot of stuff with the palette as far as, uh, color. So, yeah, so I went ahead and got this because I was so excited for it. I can't even remember how much it cost, but yeah. Now, since I've never bought anything from the crayon case before and I did stay up to get this, I thought I might as well go ahead and go ahead and get some of her um, bestsellers. And that's what I did since, you know, I am supporting a whole bunch more black owned businesses. Um, not that I wasn't doing it before because I have a few black owned business things before, but now I've just really been looking more into them even more to support. So anyway, so I bought a few things and of course I had to get the famous crayon case palette which i've never had like i said i had to get that um i don't really think i need to do any swatches or anything like that because i know the world has seen this a million times over a million times over um yeah and here are the colors so yeah i, I don't think i need to do anything because everybody already knows what this palette looks like i'm just late to the band uh to the party to the party sorry i said that wrong now um you know i'll use it eventually y'all know i get palettes and don't use them for a long time i mean i'm sure i'll use it eventually but um i don't know when i mean i'm honestly speaking i don't know when uh and i got that one and then i also got her other one which is the matte book because yeah like i said guys i stayed up to get the blush palette and i was on her site so i felt like i might as well go ahead and go all out and get her best sellers so then i went and got the matte book here which is all matte colors of course and that looks like this can you see with the plastic yep and those colors look like that um very very pretty as well um yeah i like those a lot too again when will i use it i'm not sure i'm definitely going to try though guys because you know i don't want it to just sit around but i'm definitely going to try to use it <laughs> and also I, I got everything in the bag here because i already you know uh threw the box away this stuff came about three weeks ago honestly three weeks ago um <laughs> and this next thing i got was the crayon case loose leaf makeup wipes isn't that cute? Loose leaf, you know, like loose leaf paper. <laughs> so cute. Got those two. Um, and I also got, what is this? A uh, glowed in highlight, highlight powder. You know, I'm a highlighter. I love highlight. 
la 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 very pretty golden color like i said i'm not going to go too much into all of this stuff because everybody's already seen it i'm just four or five years late so you know but i'm happy to have it since i was on the site i just went ahead and got it and um the next thing i got i did want to try this also a bestseller what is it <laughs> um chalk dust oh yeah chalk dust setting powder um i got i am in c that's the color that i chose because it comes in letters as far as their colors um i believe it's a banana e ish color um it's let me see go ahead and open it i was trying to make this intro pretty short let me see Again, I'm pretty sure you all have seen this too, but I can't even remember what I, what color. I think it's like a banana-ish because basically when I buy setting powder, there's only four under the eyes because I don't set my face with powder because I'm um, very, very dry skin. So I don't set my face, my face with powder usually. So, yeah, it looks like that. And, oh, it's not so banana-y. It's not translucent either. So it's in the middle, maybe like in the middle of a banana and a translucent. So I don't know. I got it. And that's the one I chose. So that's the one I got. Alrighty. And um, then I got this. Oh, makeup case. Crayon case makeup bag. I just thought it was cute. It just has the crayon case all over it. I just, I thought it was cute. So. I got it. Oh yeah, look, just the crayon cute case. It's so cute. It's big too. Very, very roomy. I use these big ones like this in the winter time. In my purses in the winter because in the summertime, I just usually carry cross bodies um, that aren't super, super big because I like to keep it not a lot of stuff on me in the summertime okay and then the next thing i tried another like i said these are best seller things that i decided to get the uh highlighter and i got the number 10. i said highlighter i meant to say concealer i'm sorry god concealer not highlighter did i say highlighter i don't know it's a concealer and yeah so i got that Next thing I got was her um, eyeliner called Sharp Me Eyeliner Pen. Looks like a pen. Isn't that cute? Her, it's, the theme is really, really cute, man. It really, really is cute. And that's like a pen. It's black. Got that. And I also got the uh, white one. Very happy for that. And then the next thing I got was um, crayon case. What is this? Oh, it's a liquid lipstick. Is that what this is? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, a liquid lip lipstick. This is in the color Marie. Can you see it? Come on. Very nice nude, nudie, pinky color like I like. And then the next thing I got was another liquid lipstick. Oh no, this one says it's lip gloss and this is Hall Pass Collection. And it is a color Private Party. Another pinky nudie color, which those are my thing. Those are just my thing. I just, I don't know. Just my thing. Alright, so yeah. Those are all the best seller items that I got. And, um, yeah. It was a lot, but, you know, like I said, I don't know if I ever be, I won't ever need to purchase again. Unless she come up with something extraordinary, uh, again, like the blush palette. Oh, here's the, um, oh, okay. I didn't even see this. Y'all could have told y'all the prices of everything. Sorry. The makeup pouch was $8. The box of crayon palette, box of 
I'm all unorganized. I should have did this at first. I'm sorry. I didn't even look in the um thing. Box of crayons palette was 30. The highlighter was uh, why do I keep saying highlighter? I meant the concealer was five dollars. The makeup wipes were five dollars. The eyeliner pins were five dollars a piece. The lip gloss was five dollars. Um, the matte liquid lippy was twelve dollars. The highlighter itself was 20 no the highlighter was 15 dollars the setting powder was 20 dollars the matte book right here another palette was 25 and the um blush binder was 42 so um yeah there you go there you go baby okay 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 so yeah that's yeah there it is Alrighty. so like i said sorry the intro got a little bit of course, that, that was my fault. I should have been a little bit more organized, but, you know, I, I got somewhere to go, you guys. So, I want to go ahead and I want to use this. So, I'm going to use this palette. And if you'd like to see what I attempt to create, please continue to watch. Alrighty, so, um, here we go with the blush binder. Um, the first one, let's see. Because I have no idea what colors. We're going to just... Pick as we go. I did not take the time to pick. I don't know. Let me see. Y'all, this video is all over the place, but whatever. It is what it is. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Okay, so I'm just going to go with this one right here, it looks like. Oh, it's a little tight there in this binder. But anyway, I'm going to go with this color. They don't have names, so, you know, it's cool. But I'm going to go with this color right here. I'm going to use this one as a um, transition shade if you will so in the crease and a little above it so all right let's start there and i'm going to take this elf crease crease brush here um so let's go there start that oh, i forgot there's no mirror so i gotta take my jeffree star proof mirror here and I've already primed my eyes uh, with the Morphe, um, I think it's called Morphe, the Morphe, whatever, Morphe Eye, Morphe Eyelid Primer, duh, yeah, this is what I prime my eye with. And, um, you know, a lot of people like this P. Louise um, right here, but I actually do not like this. Um, I use it as a primer, and I also use it as a cut crease. I just don't like, I don't know. I just don't, I don't know. I don't like the way it does for me. Like, it doesn't hide. You see how, you know, because I got aging, sagging eyes, so see how I got a line there and some other stuff. This, to me, doesn't cover that, um... I don't know, it just does it, not for me. Um, so I generally stick to my favorite here, which is, uh, now I've been using a lot of different ones, but now I just realized nothing, no matter how much I spend or whatever, nothing really works for me except for this LA Colors Conceal It right here. This is all I use for um, cut crease, and sometimes I use this as an eye primer as well because it, it does what I want it to do. It covers the line and makes it not as visible, you know what I'm saying? So, anyway, let's get back to doing what we were supposed to be doing. At first, uh, um, try here. Yeah, just that was just one swipe. Looks good, doesn't it? Very good quality, but you know, that's what I've heard of her stuff anyway. So, I didn't expect any less. I did not expect any less. So, yeah. That was just one little swipe. There you go. So, again, I'm just doing it in the crease here and above it just to make it like a little transition-y here all right and i'm just stamping it on here stamping it on before i did a little um blending action and y'all know with me i always take my shadow way out here because I like to have that straight line. I take the makeup wipe and just uh, make a straight line. So I like it to be super sloppy. Like out here, come way out. Well, I won't necessarily say I like it to be sloppy. But I like it to come out. So that I can just wipe it and make a straight uh, line with the makeup wipe. 
very very pretty color here it's just so pretty it's like a beautiful rosy color y'all know i don't generally do talk throughs but i figured i would do it today so i need to bring this one out a little bit more because it's not uh that edge ain't gonna be straight there okay so yeah, so yeah, if I never said that before, I don't know. I think I said it in the video before, but I again, I like to just bring it out so that I can have an edge to wipe away right there. Because I make that makeup wipe, wipe all that away. Wipe it all away. Okay, so that's about enough of this one. That's pretty good with this. Nice, pretty color. All right, so now I'm going to, let's see, you know what, now I'm going to go ahead and cut the crease. I'll be right back. Okay, next I'm going to go in with this beautiful pink right here, nice pretty bright pink right here, and I'm going to use this Jeffree Star um, brush this Morphe Jeffree Star brush right here and let's go oh I keep forgetting no mirror pretty look at that pretty color Can you see yes pretty color Just sort of stamping it on a little bit here before I try to do a little bit more padding. Just trying to stamp it a bit first. Pretty, pretty, pretty pigmentation. I'm going to bring that a quarter of the way through, about a quarter of the way. Yeah. Just move that out a little bit. Excuse the ugly faces, y'all, but you know, when you do a makeup and you feel like you're getting in there, you got to make that face feel like you're getting up in there mm-hmm that is really pretty pink oh she's mm. guys I guess Guess I got a little too anxious there, huh? Okay. Is that about even? Okay, I guess I'll try this one. It's cute. This, what is this, like an orange? This color right here, I'm going to try, you know, like an orange color here. Yeah. And then I'm going to use this um, Wet n Wild Pac-Man brush that I have. nice pigmentation these colors are just awesome so much pigmentation again sort of just stamping it on first You see that color? It's pretty. In person, I can see it good. I don't know if the camera is picking it up. I don't know if I like this brush. I don't know if I like this brush with putting it on. Yeah, I don't think I like this brush. I think I'm going to go in with this. 
Sigma E58 brush instead. Let's see what that does. All right, yeah, I like this one better. Oh, yeah, so you can see it better. I like this brush better. I guess that brush just wasn't the right choice. Yeah. Still not laying the way I wanted to though, even with this brush. But it's doable. I'm gonna go with this. Next I'm gonna go with this purpley color right here. And I will use this what is this? Dainty Cosmetics brush. Purple color is very nice, very easy. Blush. Pretty nice blush color. Blush of color. Alright now guys, so this is the finished look. 
of me using the Crayon Case brand new blush binder. And I must say, I do like the binder itself. Um, I use it on my eyes and my cheeks today. And yeah, I do like the colors and the palette itself. But, um, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a um, nice palette, very pigmented. But as far as eyeshadow, it's okay. It's not the best as far as eyeshadow in my opinion i'm not a makeup artist professional in any way but for me um i just had a lot of trouble with this orange color here as eyeshadow um as you saw i had to put on some additional concealer to make it stick and then under the eyes i did have um a bit of problems trying to get it to stick under the eye even with a uh, primer concealer primer under the eye um it just kept falling uh, but anyway as far as the look, I think it came out cute. This is really, really cute in my opinion. So yeah, anyway. Um, I'm not mad at the look, not whatsoever. I really like it. I think it looks cute. But um, yeah, um, but I'll still be using it because I do like it and I really love the concept. And the blush is really pretty. So yeah, I mean, I like it. I really do like it. I just feel like, you know, maybe not all colors is going to do what it did for me today um some of the colors but anyway the pink color i used and the purple color purple ish color was very very pretty i had no issues with those it was just that orange color for some reason i don't know i have no idea but whatever you know it's not a deal breaker i'll use the palette again i'm, I'm cool with it but anyway um uh yes yeah, so that's it oh i'm sorry y'all <laughs> um as far as the under my eyes i use the same color i use that bright pink uh right here and then that purpley color right here and then i actually use the blue just to give myself a pop of color fenty gel liner here this um blue color um i don't see a color on here i don't know maybe on here but as you know i don't have my reader so i can't see but anyway you can see it's blue and i'll put the blue in the waterline and in person it is really picking up and it's pretty but the camera I don't I feel like it's not doing it justice I don't know but anyway and then on my eyebrows I use the Fenty eyebrow pencil um, but I didn't do too much because as you know guys I <coughs> excuse me am really into the natural look now all I do is just um, fill in the hairs I use no concealer or nothing I just fill in the hairs and keep it moving I don't whatever I just brush them straight up fill it in and put some um uh brow wax on top which I love so yeah really natural and I love it like that um okay and then let's see I am wearing spicy mama lashes for my girl Chantilly Lace with the pretty face who started her own company um for flirty girl lashes which of course her information will be below and you'll be able to check her out please go check her out as well as i'm using her new um luxury binding eyeliner which i really really love i thought that it wasn't gonna really do nothing for me but i actually like it it's really nice and i did do a tutorial on how i use this um eyeliner and put on the lashes with it which that'll be coming up at a later time because i didn't edit it yet but yeah and then for my lips i use this ColourPop um ultra satin lip in lock and diary and there's no lip liner on today so yeah and that's about it guys everything else too faced um uh foundation which is what i've been loving for the summer and then i got my hair trimmed about a week or two ago about a week ago and it's still looking good i beach curled it beach wave curled it with the curling one the one that we got from one of the boxy luxes i can't remember which one it was but whatever it was a boxy locks boxy lux curling wand and i just used that i used it like two days ago and it still got a little bit of oomph to it see yeah it still got a little bit of curl to it this was two days ago i didn't do anything to it today i'm getting ready to go out to the mall and stuff with hubby and you know but um hubby. yeah it still looks still looks good so yeah um yeah anyway and i did get it cut too guys my hair actually grew so long it was like here and i got it cut i was going to get it cut to here but I, I i don't know i just decided i'd keep it long for a little and you guys remember when i first started youtube my hair was like long in the front maybe like right here and all of this was like to here because i had it uh shaped and tapered in the back and it has completely completely grew back 
since last year completely grew back since last year so but yeah it was like here i couldn't believe how far it got like to the top of my not the, is this the top i don't know the top of where but it was here uh, i had another shirt on i meant to take a picture when i got it done but i didn't so yeah and um yeah i was going to get it cut up to here and it would have been about this much cut off um maybe next time i go i'm not sure but um yeah i don't know i just decided to go ahead and keep it long i bet i actually only kept it long for the camera so that you guys can see and you know i'm missing my fluff right here it's too flat for me but you know it'll be back curly again soon and then i probably i won't get it straightened again probably for another six months or so because i usually only do it maybe once or twice a year so next time um that's probably when i'll get it cut maybe um i might get it cut before that but i know i will be getting it cut because this is long you know for me so anywho yeah that is about it and that is everything today i'm sorry it was a little bit all over the place because i was a little not knowing what i was going to do with the palette but i did just want to do the element of surprise type thing you know what i'm saying so yeah but anyway thank you so much for watching to, uh excuse me thank you so much for watching today guys i really really appreciate it and if you have not done so already please hit the subscribe button like and comment thank you